Hi friends, it's Robin Anderson, Preservation Services Director at Historic Augusta. And with the new normal, we have been brainstorming ways to better engage with you and let you know what is going on with the organization. So today we are pleased to spend time with one of our partners in preservation. Um, it is the crew from Crew Who. We have Lauren and Chris joining us today. We have been partnering with Crew Who since around 2011 when our newsletter, our printed newsletter that our members get, went full color. And so you've probably seen their designs with some of our other events. Um, we have several annual events through the year and Crew Who has been responsible for some of that design. So without further ado, hello Crew Who, and please introduce yourself to our audience. Hey, I'm Chris with Crew Who. We're a um, branding and marketing studio in uh, the historic downtown Augusta. I'm a uh, chief creative and founder. And I'm Lauren. I'm a designer here at Crew Who. So let's jump right in. Tell me why historic Augusta is important to you. And that's a great question. Um, Augusta, you know, is, is rich in history. There's so many stories to be told. Uh, and, you know, I. Personally, I, I like the fact that uh, Historic Augusta is about preserving and restoring, um, you know, all of these, uh, you know, various properties, but then all the stories that go along with it um, that just sort of encapsulate, you know, our history. And that's going to be beneficial for, you know, anyone who comes into the city or those who have been here uh, for generations and want to keep that legacy um, going. So like I mentioned, Crew Who has been involved with a few of our annual events. Do you all have a favorite event? That's a great question. That's a hard one though, because each event has its own kind of personality. Um, I mean, I've been to a good many of the events and I can't say that there's like one that, um, I mean, I don't know. I, uh, Walking with the Spirits is a great one. Oh, that um, is really fun. You know, cause there's, there's so many, like, again, there's all these stories and mm -hmm. so many things that sort of, you know, have woven our, our history together. And it's really neat to, to see that stuff. It's the loft tour is probably the one I would go to, with, you know, when I think of really awesome events is, is loft tour. Cause there's just so many, uh, various spaces you can go to and check out. And, and there's always, you know, some kind of history involved with that. Mm -hmm. Um, but gosh, you know, I don't know. I mean, they're all great. Go to every single one of them. <laughs> you really hit the nail on the head. We do want to see everyone at our events and each event really has a dedicated following each year. Um, very much like the downtown loft tour, we have a very strong group of people who come back year after year. And I know I'm just always amazed when we see your newsletter to proof it. The layout is great. The original design just really illustrates what we're trying to um, get across to our audience. You do a great job of just listening to us and incorporating our ideas into your designs and your work. But tell me, what inspires you when you are designing a piece for Historic Augusta? Great question. Um, I think the main thing is just, I mean, we've said it already, the rich history that Augusta has. Um, like, for instance, whenever we're doing the loft tour materials, um, I love just investigating and looking at all the different pieces of the architecture and the historic elements in that, and then combining it all together into one um, piece of key art because it's the idea that all of these different pieces and places in history come together to form the culture of Augusta and the history that we've had thus far. Yeah, it's that culture though. That's where, that's where I draw it. And it's that um, enveloping yourself, completely immersing yourself into uh, whatever it is, whether it be uh, the spirits with what with the spirits or it be the loft for loft tour or whether it be, you know, the perfectly aged event. Um, yeah, even, you know, the, uh, the newsletter. I mean, there's so many things that are going on that you don't know is going on that just, you know, it's just refreshing to see. And so with that, uh, coupled with all of the, you know, the histories and the stories and how it all threads together, that, who would not be inspired by that? Absolutely. And I know that people do get inspired when they meet us at an event and they get to learn more about what we do. And especially if they pass by a storefront and they see one of the event posters um, with its bright colors and kind of advertising what the event is all about, that really 
draws people's attention. And so one of the things that I'm always amazed about when we talk about educating and creating awareness for historic preservation and advocating for these buildings that have an uncertain future is, do you all have a favorite building? Because it always seems that someone has an answer to that question. Uh, while there are a ton of really cool places um, in downtown Augusta and around the area, it's an easy one for me. Um, the car building is my favorite um, because I was lucky enough to live there in the apartments above Farmhouse for a while and it was so um, inspiring and also just refreshing to live in a space um, that had so much history um, and just so many cool um, historical elements in the architecture that was really well preserved. I think it's cool that, you know, the the Trinity CME Church that was like literally lifted off the ground, I think uh, from 9th Street to 8th Street, right? That was insanely cool. Uh, and it's got a lot of history. I mean, James Brown uh, was a member of that church. Um, I kind of like the, uh, the quirky um, landmarks like uh, the, uh, the Archibald uh, Butt Bridge that goes over the um, canal. I like the, um, the old Solo Cup building with the massive cup. I don't know if that's historic or not. I like the little village that's behind Daniel Village next to the Dairy Queen. I think that's really cool. Um, obviously, old MCG and the old First Baptist Church uh, on Green Street and Telfair Street. Um, God, I mean, there's just tons. I mean, every house in Somerville, how about that? I don't know. There's too many to count. This building, how about that? Oh yeah, that's my favorite too. Mm -hmm. Couldn't agree more. There are literally thousands of buildings in Augusta, Richmond County that are historic and that speak to people at different levels. Trinity CME Church, moving that was really one of the most unique experiences of my career. It's not every day that a building gets moved as a last resort to save it from demolition. The Butt Bridge, the little village behind Daniel Village, and the car building, it was a certified rehabilitation tax credit project that owners have invested in downtown. And really all of the reinvestment that is happening is building on what has been accomplished before. Um, so tell me, what are your connections to Augusta? Uh, well, my dad was born and raised here. Um, I grew up just across the river in North Augusta, um, but I have lived and worked here um, for the past six years. Um, lived here for a year of that, um, but spend a lot of my time in Augusta. And my family um, came from the Cincinnati and Louisville, Kentucky area back in I think it was 1888 or something. Um, they were part of the one of the two families that um, that built the the first brewery in Augusta pre-prohibition. So somehow we've been kicking around ever since then. Love it. Living here the past 12 years, I've really enjoyed hearing how people are here, how they've ended up here, what they're doing here and what they enjoy most about living in Augusta. And I've been here for 12 years, I'm now raising my family, and I love working at Historic Augusta, and it's been a real pleasure to, to really see several projects that we've been working towards come to fruition. So as we wrap things up, I know I'm really looking forward to our spring events, and unfortunately we've postponed most of those until the fall. So those of you who are watching, please make sure you follow us on our social media pages. Visit our website at historicaugusta.org. Um, better yet, y'all should become a member of Historic Augusta. You'll receive the printed newsletter that Crew Who uh, works with us and designs the layout for. You'll receive event invitations and programming updates. Um, definitely you'll want to see what the loft tour design and Walk with the Spirits design will be this year. So Crew Who. How do you see our relationship with you in the future? Um, do you think that there are some ways that we can do a better job to encourage more interaction throughout 2020 and beyond? Wow, that's a great question. Mm -hmm. I believe that the future is so bright, we have to wear shades. Yep. Great question. 
I would uh, start by saying you're in great hands right now with, uh, with us um, uh, partnering with you on uh, a few of the ventures. I think going forward, um, awareness is, is key. And so figuring out the best ways and means to communicate probably on multiple levels um, uh, in ways that'll reach the entire community is probably the, the better route to go, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree with everything that Chris said. Um, I think, obviously, we all know that social media is paramount to brands these days, and so having uh, a, a bigger, um, more uh, informative social media presence would be great. Um, virtual tours of some of the historic places that uh, people might not have access to as easily would also be really awesome. Um, and it would be something that I would definitely be interested in participating in as well. Yeah, I mean, it definitely would work, especially in, in these weird times, too. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Lauren and Chris, for your time and chatting with us today about our partnership. We really cannot emphasize how much we appreciate the value of the work the originality and the expertise that you provide Historic Augusta with. You are a wonderful partner in preservation. And to those of you who have tuned in, thank you for spending some time learning about Historic Augusta, our mission to preserve historically and architecturally significant sites in Augusta and Richmond County. Do not hesitate to contact us with any questions that you may have or to become a member of the organization. Take care of yourself and remember that this place matters and that is what Historic Augusta is here to share with you.